Hey Libra and welcome back to the channel, Pure Black Magic, emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. My name is Dee and I want to thank you guys for tuning back into the Card House series. This is going to be your March energy reading um, for Libra, so if you have Libra in your chart, wherever you have it in your chart, please apply it how you see fit. Um, it is general, you guys, so also just please keep that in mind. If you would like to have a private reading with me, you can find information regarding that below. Also, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so via uh, Cash App at Pure Black Magic, okay? Um, so just for starters, Libra, before I started your reading, before I started shuffling, um, I heard something about you just having to make you sweat a little bit okay so i feel like there's someone that you are making sweat you in the month of march or someone is sweating you in the month of march um or you feel like you are um you know like just really stuck on or sweating somebody else in the month of march but i really feel like that was your energy libra i literally just heard I'm going to have to make you sweat a little bit, okay? So I feel like you're applying pressure in regards to something for March. I feel like you are um, making someone work for something. I feel like you're kind of, I don't even want to say playing hard to get because I don't like the, the, um, I don't like what most people think when you say playing hard to get because I don't think you're necessarily playing. You know, I don't think you're playing a game. I don't think you're playing with anyone, but I feel like you are feeling to need to make someone work for you. OK, make someone um, put in more effort, make someone really prove to you, you know, that they want you or they want something. OK, Libra. Um, so I feel like you're applying pressure or someone feels pressure to um, come towards you in the month of March. OK, so let's just see what comes out for you guys. All right. So right away we have Big Bow Vision trying to pop out. I'm not going to take it, though. And then we have going beyond normal also. OK, going beyond normal and Big Bow Vision. Um, they kind of flipped over, but let me get a good shuffle in. Let's see if we can get one card for Libra for the month of March. What is the message for Libra for the month of March? All right, so now you don't want to talk. I put the cards back, Libra, and you don't want to talk, okay? So you cannot be wanting to talk to someone in the month of March also. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm getting, I'm feeling like you're holding back. Okay. So you're holding back from an individual or a situation in the month of March. All right. So we have seeing the true you. Okay. So with this card, I'm feeling like you are reflecting on something here. Okay. This could be just self-reflection. Um, yeah, I feel like you're reflecting on your past or reflecting on a situation um at hand or something you've recently been through here you're trying to see something for what it is okay seeing something at face value i feel like you're looking in the mirror or you're first forcing someone else to look at in the mirror at themselves too um yeah at the bottom of the deck we have diving for light okay so i feel like you're seeking clarity um i also feel like you are just seeking to kind of overcome something. You're seeking to be successful in something here. All right. I feel like you're trying to find and focus on the brighter side of a situation with this Diving for Light card. Okay. Yeah. You're trying to find like um, the silver lining in the situation is what I'm getting here too. So let's see. We have seen the true you. What else can we get for Libra? In the month of March. I see round and round. Um, so it could be some sort of cycle you are going through with yourself or with someone else. Serendipity is also another card that I see. I cannot shuffle today, obviously. All right. To the sea, yeah, I kind of feel like you will be isolating yourself. Again, this is another card of like reflecting. Um, I feel like you're trying to come to terms with something or you're trying to figure out what move you should make in a situation here, Libra. Let's see. All right, so the serendipity card 
came out. I saw it in the shuffle and it came out. So, I mean, maybe you're searching for your happiness, serendipity. You're searching for, um, I was going to say you're searching for the true you. So this is seeing the true you and this is serendipity. So maybe you're searching for the, the true you, what makes you happy. Yeah, I feel like you're um you're just in a a very deep energy of contemplating I'm picking up here. Just kind of playing something back in your mind over and over again, trying to figure out what to do. I feel like you're um I don't know, I feel like you're kind of just you're feeling torn in a situation here, Libra. We do have poised at the bottom of the deck, okay? So I feel like you are whatever's going on, I feel like you're handling it very well. Um yeah, I feel like you're holding on to your power in this situation. Behind the poise card, we have between worlds. So yeah, this is the energy. I'm feeling like you're torn. I kind of feel like you're torn or you're transitioning. Okay, but again, time to take a nap. So you could be feeling tired, also worn down. Um, maybe just mentally more so than anything. But um, I feel like you're you're handling it well, okay? People wouldn't know just by looking at you what you're going through let's see what is the energy i see happy family all right i see the world something shifting something's changing all right solar plexus chakra coming up here too dealing with creativity all right now we got the heart chakra popped up okay so let's see, what energy can we get for Libra for the month of March? What energy can we get for Libra for the month of March? All right, so we have all tied up and we have rest and rejuvenate. Hmm. So a part of me feels like, I don't know, this all tied up could just be you wrapped up in your head because you are doing some deep reflecting here. Um, this could also be you holding yourself back because she's all tied up, you know, not willing to give herself to anyone or anything at the moment um, kind of like guarding yourself, protecting yourself with this all tied up card two is what i'm getting here i feel like you kind of just feel tied down by a situation also for some of you guys um but yeah i'm honestly just getting a sense of you holding back here especially with this rest and rejuvenate card um i feel like you're doing just that okay i did see time for a nap so that's kind of what this rest and rejuvenate i kind of feel like you are I just heard you falling and you're trying to get back up, okay? So I feel like you've fallen. I feel like something has you down. I feel like something has happened and it has had like a big thump or a big major impact on you. Um, and you're trying to maintain your balance. You're trying to build yourself back up in the month of March, Libra. Um, and you're holding back, okay? You're guarded. You're guarding your happiness. I do see serendipity here. That's the only thing you're focused on. In March is is your happiness, you being happy, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Magician card. So um, this is manifesting. I feel like you're manifesting here. You're trying to manifest your happiness. You're working on your happiness. Straightforward message that I'm getting, okay? You're doing and moving in a way um, that makes you happy that gives you a peace of mind that's what i'm getting with this serendipity card too all right so let's see seeing the true you for libra what is seeing the true you for libra all right so we have the seven of wands kind of came out sideways um, so this is usually you standing up for something, you fighting, um, for something or fighting something or someone off 
this is you being bold, you being assertive, and it kind of came out sideways, um, but I'll take it up right. The sideways is just giving me maybe that you are a bit not so sure in a certain decision or placement or position um, that you hold here. Let's see. We have the King of Cups, and then we have the King of Wands, okay? So, uh, Water Energy on the board, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and then Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? Hmm. Yeah, with the Seven of Wands, also, this is you just protecting your peace, okay? Just like I said, I feel like you're, you're guarded yourself, like you're tied up, you're kind of blocking yourself off, you have your walls up to someone or something this is also it you're protecting your peace because you're inside of this bubble here okay no one can touch you these wands down here can't touch you um i feel like you're isolating yourself and you're just really spending more time with yourself healing and just yeah protecting your peace I feel like you're protecting yourself from whoever this king of cups is for you okay um, it could be a water sign, but I feel like this is just someone who has a lot of love for you. Matching this King of Wands, I feel like they have a lot of passion for you as well. But for some reason, I feel like you're holding back in the month of March, Libra, okay? At the bottom of the deck, yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is single energy. This is being independent. Um, this is kind of you just doing your own thing, focusing on yourself. This is a glow that's happening here. Um... Yeah, this is you being very stable. This is you mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually just um, working on yourself, okay? Yep, right when I said working on yourself, I saw the Seven of Pentacles, so that's growth. That's nurturing, okay? I feel like you're nurturing yourself, could be nursing yourself back to um, a, certain, a certain state of health, okay? Let's see, what is serendipity for Libra in the month of March? Serendipity for Libra in the month of March. I almost saw the um almost I saw the five of wands, which is about like fighting chaos and, and conflict. So that could be something that is in your past, something that have just happened for you, some sort of uproar, some sort of um chaos with someone, okay? Um, but now that's why you're focused on what makes you happy. Okay. You're trying to leave that energy behind. Now we do have the justice card, the three of wands and the queen of swords. All right. For serendipity. So yeah, at, I feel like at any cost, right. You are trying to protect yourself here. Okay. I feel like you are just cutting any everything out all right you just want to be by yourself um you're blocking you're blocking other energies okay you probably won't be too accessible in the month of march i don't see you really socializing a lot um i don't yeah i really don't see you communicating much with other people okay it looks like you are looking forward to something or you are hopeful about something here then you do have some sort of justice coming in it's clarifying serendipity so i feel like you will find your happiness in the month of march um libra with this justice card you're feeling hopeful about something but you're also knowing that you need to remain firm in this cutting you know position in order for you to get whatever it is that makes you happy then we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, this is what you're trying to bring in, okay? Um, you have the Four of Pentacles, more holding back. Then we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Lovers. Yeah, I feel like you have walked away or you're walking away from a situation here, a romantic situation, um, and choosing to kind of just the lovers and then the eight of cups and then the four of pentacles just walking away and choosing to kind of like hold things to yourself here just to hold back um i don't know i feel like you're holding on to your ace of pentacles so i'm kind of feeling like you guys are wanting to be if you're not already um celibate just not sexually active or even energetically it's like you don't want to give any parts of yourself to anyone here in the month of March. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Okay. 
right? I just saw the Emperor, so it could be dealing with an Aries. Um, you could have Aries somewhere in your chart. And then I saw the Five of Cups. So yeah, you're feeling regretful or you're feeling like in sorrow, deep sorrow, and just kind of down in the dumps about an Aries possibly. All right. Are you not having control in a situation or something like that? What is all tied up? What is all tied up for Libra? All right. So we got, a, oh, all right. I didn't mean to take this many cards. I guess it's just one extra card. So we got the King of Swords. All right. We got the Seven of Pentacles. We got the Two of Swords and we got the Lovers. Yeah, I feel like you're holding back. Like this two of swords and the lovers, you're blocking out a lover. So this could be um, a Gemini or you could be blocking out. Yeah, sometimes the lovers just indicates like a third party situation. So that could be of significance to someone. But I feel like you're blocking out a lover or you're just blocking out people in general. It doesn't have to be a specific person. Um but you're kind of, yeah, you're working on nurturing yourself with the Seven of Pentacles. Just a very cold energy here. Oh, and it's crazy because look how, look how these cards came out here, okay? So we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords facing each other here. We have a union here. And this is exactly how they're sitting on the board. So we have the king and the queen of swords, okay? So this could be you and another air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or they could have that in their chart. Like you and the Aries, I saw the Aries, okay? So this could be you and the Aries. I'm getting Aries rising. You could be a Libra rising. Um, but I feel like you guys are separated, okay? I feel like you guys are both doing some sort of reflection. Both of you guys are deeply in your head about this situation. Both of you guys have your guard up, okay? Um, yeah, they're facing each other. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like you're, um, you're guarding yourself. I don't know. Maybe that stood out for somebody right there. I kind of got stuck in that energy. And then we have the world card here. So there's a new cycle taking place, okay? it's I feel like it's with you and another person. There could be just a new cycle within a relationship or ending to the relationship. That could be why, you know, you're feeling a need to isolate yourself for the month of March, okay? Let's see, what is rest and rejuvenate for Libra? The hermit card. What did I say? Isolating yourself. All right, so you're in hermit mode, Libra. You could have Virgo highly aspected in your chart, um, but you're isolating yourself. You're reflecting, okay? This, to me, kind of looks just like the seeing the true you, okay? So we have seeing the true you, just kind of dwelling there, reflecting in the water, and then we have the hermit card, just kind of isolated out in space, thinking you could just be so searching, um... I'm just really feeling like you're figuring out what makes you happy, honestly, in the month of March. Let's see what else we have with the Hermit card, Three of Pentacles. Okay, maybe you're just trying to figure out if something can work, if you want to work on something here. Um, and then we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So the Three and the Five would give me the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is all about putting in work, okay? It's tunnel vision, it's um, working long hours, it's a lot of commitment and dedication. So I feel like this is in regards to some sort of situation. I feel like it's in regards to a relationship or a person here. Um, you're trying to figure out if it's worth working on. Yeah, like you got this Hermit card that came out. And it's clarifying this rest and rejuvenate also. So these two cards are also very similar. It's like you're really meditating on something. You're contemplating. You're reflecting. You're trying to figure out if something is worth it. Is it worth it? Is it worth it, Libra? Is it worth working on, working together with this Three of Pentacles? And then you have the Five of Pentacles, which is you just kind of feeling um, left out in the cold. Something has you feeling isolated. Something has you feeling 
um like a bat abandoned disappointed is what i'm picking up to at the bottom of the deck we have the four of cups so yeah you're just in this kind of like blah energy like all of your cards are literally looking the same this card with the four of cups this card by yourself feeling left out in the cold the hermit card by yourself just reflecting um the seven of wands like yeah you are really doing some soul searching really trying to figure out what makes you happy and trying to figure out if a situation is worth it the four of cups is you kind of feeling like you missed out on an opportunity or an opportunity was lost here um i feel like you feel disappointed like something or someone has let you down here like, this is just a buildup of how much this situation or this person has let you down. And I feel like they or whatever it is is trying to offer you something one more time. Like, this is the fourth cup, okay? But I feel like you're just not feeling it. You're not hearing it. You're not in the energy of, like, making a decision. Um, at least not yet, okay? And that's what you're trying to figure out. Um, you're trying to find... You're trying to find yourself. You're trying to find what's for you, okay? So let's pull a moon card. Um, before I even shuffle at the bottom of the deck, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches, okay? Full moon and Capricorn. So it could be a Capricorn um, of significance. Um, whatever you're going through could kind of resolve itself around the full moon. Uh, unfortunately, that's not for like another three weeks or so. But I feel like the time in March is spent, you know trying to figure that out getting that together all right so i feel like yeah the end is near or it will be near towards the end of the month the full moon okay libra let's see what moon card can we get for libra in regards to the situation what is the moon energy okay so we have your dreams need a a practical plan full moon and taurus okay so a taurus could be significant um yeah so i feel like if you're whatever you're trying to work through whatever you're reflecting on whatever you're trying to um figure out if it's worth it or not to move forward with I feel like it would need some sort of plan. It would need some sort of strategy. It needs some sort of um, structure. There needs to be some sort of structure or something needs to be implemented, okay? Um, for you to move forward in the situation here. And then you have a fiery climax approaches, full moon and Aries. So yeah, again, around a full moon, full moon again, full moon in Taurus. I'm just feeling full moon something's going to be set in stone all right and i'm gonna just leave it at that um don't forget to like share and subscribe please 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 leave a comment if it resonates you guys hopefully it helps and i will see you next time